All right, I know what you're saying. Dimitri, are, are you a crazy person? Are you seriously going to compare Microsoft to do to Tick Tick? Yeah. You had a problem with it? You got a problem with me taking a drink of water? Been recording a lot of videos. And I just wanted to say thank you for all the support recently. The channel's been growing, you know, past 11K subs. Kind of crazy. But I'm grateful for every opportunity to tell you my opinions on productivity apps. So there are two different tools that are pretty solid in the productivity app community. Uh, no one really complains that Tick Tick sucks or that like Microsoft to do. I mean, it's awful. Uh, I think they're like understated applications and that's why I wanted to do a bit of a rundown between the two of these. Tick Tick is funny enough, the first uh, task management app I ever used when I was in college. I didn't even really realize how powerful these tools were back then. And uh, it's just been kind of exciting to see uh, the, um, the evolvement of this because Microsoft To Do was also the first application I used at my day job back in like 2021. Now getting started, uh, To Doist, now getting started, Tick Tick is a pretty solid free application that has the option to be about $28 a year or $2.4 a month for a couple small upgrades. So minus these, um, you get pretty much everything that I'm gonna bring up in this video with Tick Tick. Uh, you get full calendar functionality. You have more customizable filters. You have the ability to check out like task activity, more like reporting information, and then just some, some small things as well, like some more premium theme. There's more white noise options in the premium version of Tick Tick, which is cool. Uh, obviously, if you're trying to be productive, it's kind of cool to have like smooth background noise and a like sort of time tracking and estimation option here is still pretty cool too. Now, when I go into Tick Tick, you'll notice that it's pretty unassuming as is, right? It's got baseline task management functionality. There's like a today view, a next seven days view, an inbox view, and if I was on the premium plan, could see this in a calendar format, but on the non-premium plan, I can see this as a list, and very similar to Todoist, like it has this quick capture. What you're able to do is, I'm gonna press my quick capture right here, and boom, we're able to put in a new test, so. Uh, let's take out the trash. Put a little high priority, I have a tag for it, or have a work project for it, or let's do housekeeping. And then you can tag this in any way you want with, and then you can assign it to a different tag. So I'm gonna send it to housekeeping. And then over here, we have the option to, to click on all those different things that I just mentioned, uh, see what list we wanna put it into. You can also add it from a template as well. So it's got the cool quick capture functionality that to do is Taz. You'll notice though, that from like a look feel, it's just not, it's not very aesthetic. We have an Eisenhower matrix option here, which not many of these task management apps have, namely Todoist or Microsoft To Do. It does have a habit tracker implemented into the software, which is cool. So you can set the different frequency intervals. So for example, I could, as you saw here, I made this, if we edit it, a one day per week habit to be counted daily, put even what part of the day I wanna do it in and then have reminders. And then on top of that, it also has a Pomodoro timer. So the focus timer can be accessed with a keyboard shortcut too. So with control, control P pops this guy up and I have the ability to change how long it is between five to 180 minutes, put on different white noise. This is kind of what that was referring to before. Change the short and long duration options, track how much time I was spending being focused, which is very cool. I mean, we don't really see this kind of stuff when it comes to a task management app, right? We have separate things for Pomodoro apps and task management apps. So not really the case there for anything else. I can pin this over here. And then if I click anywhere, it would not go away. And I can unpin it and do the opposite. And I can even full screen mode this for a separate screen from what I'm working on now. All this to showcase that, to, that tick tick between that and lists, you know, it's got more baseline functionality than Microsoft To Do. So why is Microsoft To Do even brought up in this video? Truthfully, the reason is Microsoft To Do has integrations with Microsoft Planner, Outlook, and OneNote that are, that are a little bit more convenient. Like this is a little bit more aesthetically pleasing to me. Uh, it just doesn't have the same level of stuff as Tick Tick. It doesn't have a Pomodoro timer. It doesn't have tags, it doesn't really have a lot. I mean, you make a new, it doesn't have the quick capture, uh, pay utilities at 6 p.m. Friday, 
It's got some natural language processing. I can click on this. I can attach files. I can add notes. Very basic kind of task management management app stuff. The themes are all, you know, whatever. Very baseline stuff. You don't have to pay for a premium version on this. But, 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 but. You can have items from your Outlook get added to this as tasks. You can have things from your OneNote get added to this as tasks. You can have things from Planner get added to this as tasks. So, quite literally, if you are stuck in the Microsoft ecosystem using that kind of stuff for your day job, I do recommend using Microsoft To Do instead of OneNote for your task management. But outside of that, if you're considering either of the two options for your personal use or even your task management at work, probably pick Tick Tick. I'm not gonna get too far into what Microsoft To Do can do. The aesthetic is a little bit better, but you don't have the quick capture of the global, like clicking a button anywhere on the screen. Like right now I press this and I can still enter a task in Tick Tick. I cannot do that same thing with Microsoft To Do. I'm not gonna have as much functionality here, but if I want to have a good workflow and my company's, you know, got me stuck using Microsoft Planner and Outlook, yeah, maybe, maybe use this. But unless that convenience is important to you, go with Tick Tick over Microsoft To Do. And make sure to go with this video on how to improve your productivity even more.